2002 Cheltenham Festival off and running and at the first flight very nearly a fall it looked like three lions made a very bad mistake Sosa's fly is prominent on the outside with West Ender and then over on the inside is like a butterfly very prominent the favorite at the moment with uh, in the center hitman and then uh, three lines close up and in contrast as well over on the inside with a white face the blue and white jacket that's native scout also towards the inside is adamant appro approach and then looking to the outside in midfield Sekundai with Turkistan JBJ on the wide outside uh, towards the back at the moment snob wells is last as they run towards flight number two in the Gerald Supreme novices and three lines is down this time made a desperate mistake at the first and falls at the second West End and like a butterfly are less to dispute the running the horse is up okay at the moment the rider is still down Barry Keneary meanwhile back with the race like a butterfly from West Ender then Hitman in third and Sosa's fly in Turkestan and then JBJ on the outside back on the inner is Adamant Approach from Sakundai and then stars out tonight and got one two with Dungarvan's choice out wider they're followed by Eternal Spring in the midfield from Detonateur and Never and then Bernadon towards the rear and Sari with Scottish memories and also Snog Wells and uh, right out the back still Dubai seven stars and also Fireball McNamara the rider is up Kaneri as they jump flight number three and uh, the leaders jump this safely with West Ender in front Tony McCoy from JBJ on the outside in the striped jacket then like a butterfly on the near side in the green the white cap the Istabrak jacket followed by Sosa's fly and Hitman close up an adamant approach on the inside Turkestan and then Dungarvan's choice round horses as they run towards the next flight West Ender then by a couple of lengths meets it well enough good jump by like a butterfly in second place as they race now towards a left hand turn Adamant approach is close with Sosa's fly and Hitman and then uh, just in behind these native scout uh, Scottish memories got very badly hampered on the bend at that point as they make this left hand turn towards the next flight and it's West Ender from JVJ and like a butterfly takes that one beautifully native scout is next one's gone Columba unseated the rider back in the pack West Ender by two or three lengths to like a butterfly native scout and Adamant approach both for Ireland a third and fourth then Detton Tour. They're uh, followed by Stars Out tonight and behind these Dungarvan's Choice and then in contrast and behind these trying to pick up his Ansari on the outside. They race down the hill towards the final three flights now. This is three out they're coming to and it's West Ender like a butterfly is poised on the outside. Native Scout looking for racing room on the inside. These three land ahead of Adamant Approach and then Detonateur and they're in turn a long way ahead of in contrast under pressure. They race for the second last then and racing to it is West Ender but like a butterfly looks very dangerous. Native Scout and Adamant Approach are on their heels over two out like a butterfly and West Ender landed matching strides. Native Scout Adam and approach are in their slipstream three or four lengths to in contrast is trying to reel them back and then eternal spring is running on the crowd rises like a butterfly strikes the front under charlie swan but his compatriot on the outside native scout comes to challenge here's the last native scout dies and for adamant approach it was who fell at the last and was challenging like a butterfly is left in front of west ender then in contrast native scout and eternal spring running on west ender is really Scottish memories and Dubai seven stars and then stars out tonight from Got One Two and Soltero then Turkistan and JBJ followed home by Hitman Dungarvan's choice Detonateur never and then Mutakarim and right out the back Fireball McNamara and Sosa's Fly and Forto and Ansari was just about the last to finish what a finish to our first race. Glad to report that Ruby Walsh is up on his feet after that final flight fall from Adamant Approach, who'd come to take over and may well have done his compatriot, the strongly back like a butterfly, a big favor because like a butterfly was all out. Here's Ruby, he's got some big rides this week. He's able to walk away from that fall, but the cheers are already ringing round Cheltenham because this is a hugely popular first race result like a butterfly in the colours of J.P. McNamara, Mac McManus,
trained by Christy Roach and ridden by Charlie Swan, so often the hero here at the festival. A 16th festival which victory for Charlie and Istebrak to come later on. Here is Christy Roach already in the winner's enclosure, waiting for his horse to come back. She did you proud. She's a lovely mare. Oh. She's a lovely mare. It's a good mare trill. It's a great start for the Irish. It is. I just hope he's done. I can keep it going now for JP. Well, yes, that will be good in the same colours. Yes, yes. There's going to be quite a cheer here, Christy. Yes, I think so, yes. I think so. Yes, yes. Great feeling. Congratulations to all of Ireland. Well done. Thank hey. you. Thank you. Yes. What a wonderful way to begin the afternoon for the Irish and in particular for the Christy Roach, JP McMahon. And probably most important of all for Charlie Swan, a winner under your belt. He's got so many good rides to come, apart from Mr. Brack, Paladine, another Christy Roach horse in the last year this afternoon. And it's not that he's underrated, but I just he's a he's a jockey that you sometimes don't probably think too much about because he's associated with Mr. Bracken. Of course, he's a successful trainer as well now, but he's as good as there is. And Jim, you were saying earlier that he's broken Tim Maloney's record in Ireland and really strong. And not many people hold.